Hello, I've got one of my favorite little demonstrations here for you today. This is a pendulum wave. I'm going to get you some close-up shots. We're going to talk about what's happening, but I'm going to set this in motion. We have these nine different pendulums. I'm going to push them all back here and let them go. And they do something that I think is just, just beautiful, how they uh, sometimes fall in sync and sometimes fall out of sync with one another. Taking a closer view, you can see we have our nine pendulums the different lengths cause them to have different periods. A period is the time it takes to go back and forth one time. So the shorter length has a smaller period. The longer length has a longer period. Likewise, then, this longer length and longer period means it has a smaller frequency. Less often it goes back and forth. The shorter length means it's going to have a higher frequency. More often it goes back and forth. The one in the middle is set up to swing 20 times every 20 seconds. The one on the far end here swings 16 times in 20 seconds. The short one swings 24 times in 20 seconds. So if you can look at it, it goes through a 20 second long process of everything starts on one side. They go through things like the sine wave pattern, they just ended up on the same side again. They're back in the sine wave pattern. And then they're going to end up here about half of them on one side, half of them on the other right there. But they just go through this beautiful pattern. And it's a good chance for me to be able to talk about and teach frequency and period. Thank you. 